Hey Pisces, hey Pisces Kingdom, good morning. I already went ahead and pre-shuffled and connected to spirit for the message coming in. And this is actually really, really interesting because as I was pre-shuffling and um, laying out the cards, I got a very clear, specific message coming in with the temperance, the two of cups in the reverse, and then the ace of cups being the general energy. And the main message coming in is that at this time in your life, you're being very, very selective with who you're letting into your life, what you're letting into your life, what you're engaging with, what you're associating with, because you have a very clear vision of what this next chapter is for you and what you want to become and how you want to feel, Ten of Cups. And so the second message coming in with the Ten of Wands, Nine of Swords, and Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups to Seven of Wands in the reverse is that, um, by the way, Seven of Wands in the reverse is the Haters card. Um, but some people are not very happy about that. Some people are not on board with that choice or that decision that you're making. Um, that you're placing yourself first, that you're prioritizing yourself, that you're prioritizing your boundaries. And the main message, what I was hearing with this specific spread is that some people may perceive you as stuck up, right? Which again, is not true at all whatsoever because the energies influencing your spread are very, very positive. This is something that you're doing out of love for yourself. It's kind of like getting to that breaking point of you've had enough uh, with carrying loads that are, don't, don't even belong to you and kind of being placed in positions that are not beneficial to you, that are not getting you to where you want to go and self-sacrificing for other people, placing other people before you and noticing that that's not getting you to where you want to be. And it's also not helping them either. It's kind of like, it's a little bit like enabling instead of empowering. But again, this is something that has completely con come to an ending like it's ran its course and you're you're done and over with that version of yourself or with those people with those situations or being placed in situations of a ten of wands so yeah two main messages you're extremely selective right now with your energy with your time with who you associate with uh with your boundaries six of cups to seven of wands in the reverse some people from your past do not like this they don't appreciate this and these might have been the same people that placed you in these situations that took your kindness for weakness or that took advantage of your time or that did not respect or honor your boundaries um, or caused some kind of nine of swords in your life, some kind of headache, sleepless nights, anxiety. Um, so yeah, it's like from their perspective, which again is not true, they're viewing you as stuck up because you're no longer allowing the things that you used to allow in the past. You're no longer placing yourself in those situations. You're no longer trying to be the superhero and save everybody or rescue everybody. Um, you're really tending to yourself right now. And that is actually going to take you all the way to where you want to be. Because we start with the Ace of Cups being the number one and we're ending with the Ten of Cups being the fulfillment, right? So you go from one to ten. This is your last card. So this looks really good for you, Pisces. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Oracle cards before we jump into the reading to see what's the energy that's influencing the spread and to see if there's any additional advice that comes in. Holy Spirit, please channel through the message that Pisces needs to hear most at this time that will benefit Pisces the most in regards to this reading. Okay, that was fast. Okay, we have manifest. Okay, and then we have overcome obstacles. One final card. Okay, and you're on the right path. Okay, beautiful. This Okay, so this is what I was feeling with overcoming obstacles. It's kind of like, because this feels, this feels like past energy. It doesn't feel like it's influencing your reading. But I just kept hearing stuck up, like stuck up. Like some people may be trying to kind of guilt trip you or make you feel some kind of, some kind of way because you're no longer accepting the treatment. Um, it's like what, what used to kind of keep you around if you thought that you were helping somebody or you were, you know, kind of maybe in a sense you thought that it was a part of your service or a part of your duty to kind of help people. But you notice that this was not getting you anywhere and it was not helping. It was not really helping the situation. So it's like you decided to not associate, to really disconnect from those energies that were really taking away from you. This is taking your peace of mind. This is taking, this is taking away your well-being. Because the Nine of Swords in the Upright talks about anxiety, sleepless nights, PTSD, a headache, you know, kind of ruminating, overthinking things. And this is what 
this is what it caused you. Ten of Wands, it, it made you feel like you were carrying a very heavy load, a lot of responsibilities that did not even belong to you. And 10, 10, okay, first card being a 10 to the final card being a 10, it's over. That cycle has completed in your life. And what I'm feeling here, Pisces, is that you're stepping into a very fresh new energy. It's like kind of like being asleep in a sense, like going through the motions and thinking that you're awake and thinking that you're, you know, doing what you have to do in the moment to get to the next level. But it kind of feels like kind of being like a little bit numbed out or a little bit asleep or a little bit disconnected from your human experience because it just feels like this is not the most desirable. It's kind of like having to get through something to get to the next level. And it's, and it's just kind of like that survival mode or that kind of like, this is what I got to do to get to the next level, but you're not enjoying the journey. It actually feels very gloomy, very burdensome, very heavy. But the good news is this is a 10. That's done and over with. You're not going to carry anybody else's wands. You're not going to carry anybody else's loads. And this is why the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands, in the reverse is here. Seven, seven of Wands is kind of, um, it's a haters card. It really is. Because in the upright, it talks about you sharing your magic. You sharing a, a version of yourself or a part of yourself. And people trying to kind of like shoot that down. Or get you to kind of um, back it up. Or, or show some kind of a track record. Or people just doubting you. Um, from a place of their own projections, from a place of their own insecurities. So the Seven of Wands in the reverse talks about feeling like you're being attacked um, by people from your past, Six of Cups. And so what I'm getting in this specific combination is some people may be kind of like harsh towards you or projecting things onto you. Again, it's like, okay, like, do you think that you're better than us? Or like, why don't you want to hang? Like that kind of energy. It's like, you just realize that that path, that journey was not taking you to where you want it to be. And you had to switch up things very, very quickly. Temperance to two of cups in the reverse. You kind of created some separation between some people from your past and some people in your life. So that you could get to where you wanted to be. The lovers talks about making that decision. So again, this feels, this feels like overcoming obstacles. But spirit wants to confirm that whatever change, whatever switch up you decided to make whatever um, distancing or separation you decided to go through was actually in your highest good because it is it is the right path for you and towards the things that you want so i don't know i don't know if this has affected you in some sense but this feels a little bit like you feel like you need to create more boundaries like you need to protect yourself from these kinds of people and again this could be old friends these could be relatives family members um co-workers you know even people that you used to look up to just people that you used to have around you it's like you realize it wasn't getting you to where you needed to be to where you wanted to be and so the two of cups in the reverse is a separation it's a distancing it's creating space and again the lovers in the upright that's the decision that you decided to make so that you weren't stuck in this energy so i want to know a little bit more about this two of cups because it feels like it already happened you already made that decision to create that space maybe it's just boundaries maybe it is a full-on separation okay i don't know apply this to your situation if this is your reading you're gonna know who you are holy spirit tell us more about this two of cups in the reverse what do you want pisces to know please clarify that. okay so three of wands and ace of pentacles in the reverse Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Tell us more. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse? Okay, Six of Swords in the reverse and Eight of Wands in the upright. So something in the past was holding you back from, from fully transitioning, Pisces, because the Six of Swords talks about a transition, okay? In the reverse, something was kind of getting in the way. Something was holding you back from fully stepping into this new realm, stepping into this new version of yourself or this new chapter. It's like some kind of offer that was made that was not fulfilled. It was like an empty promise. This was not fulfilled because the Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. It's kind of like you you kept the door halfway open. It's like one foot in, one foot out. 
because this was an opportunity for you. And I don't know if this opportunity came from this situation or from another situation, but it was not allowing you to fully transition. It's kind of like you were feeling like it was not going anywhere and it was not going to lead you to where you wanted to go. But whatever this opportunity was, it kind of, it kind of kept you there a little bit longer than you should have. Because Three of Wands talks about stepping into the new. You see how each wand on, every, on both sides, it creates a portal. So she's walking through that portal into this new version of herself, into this new life. Her ships are coming in. But some way, somehow, it prevented you from fully transitioning, from fully stepping into this new version of yourself. Because maybe you were waiting on something to develop or something to happen here. But it was some, some kind of like an empty promise. It was not fulfilled. Okay, so let me see here. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I plan my goals with intention, direct focus, and faith. Your ace initiates a timeline where your future wealth, health, and material abundance are ushered in. It's material and financial wins and soul-satisfying well-being. With this wonderful message for good things to come, it's time to visualize, attract, prioritize, and act. Okay, yeah. What I'm getting here is this, this Ace of Pentacles was some kind of offer that was made to you. Maybe from the past, maybe from the people that are connected to this chapter of your life. But it was, it was kind of like empty. It was not fulfilled. And you had to create that momentum for yourself because both of these cards are in the reverse. The Six of Swords talks about, again, transitioning from one point to another. You see how she's kind of crossing that ocean, that sea? She's packed her bags and she's ready to go. She's ready to move on from the chapters that no longer serve her. It's like something expired here. Something expired here and you decided to move forward. But some people have been trying to kind of guilt trip you into coming back or trying to make you feel some type of way because you left some situations some environments and some people behind because they were not aligned with who you wanted to become. And then the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, you waited long enough and nothing came from it. So you had to make the decision, Eight of Wands. This is, this is taking action without hesitating. And it looks like you have a lot of momentum when it comes to the fire, when it comes to the action, but something still didn't make sense. Something still didn't click into place. You didn't understand why it didn't work out necessarily, only that it wasn't giving you what you needed and what you wanted out of the situation. So then Two of Cups, you decided to create that separation and go your own way. Three of Wands, because of that Pisces, you are now on the right path. If you felt like things were stuck or things weren't moving or you were not getting the results that you wanted, it's like you are on the right path because you rerouted, okay? You decided to take this action for yourself to prioritize yourself first and to step into this new version of yourself. Eight of Wands coming in. Again, you have a lot of momentum. You have a lot of fire on your side. Speed, velocity, travel, making split-second decisions, an upcoming positive resolution, haste, and good news. It's go time. I fall into this flow of this quickening energy and I swiftly face my desires head on. Action, you know those moments in life that feel like a sprint? This type of speedy energy is at play and it's intentional and inspirational. It's fiery, it's positive, and it's now. If you have a gut feeling that needs to be acted upon, listen to it. With all this movement, avoid being swept along by the unpredictable tide by having clear uh, intentions and desires in the direction that you want to go. Harness this beautiful window of opportunity. In shadow, the Eight of Wands suggests that there is some sticky energy influencing your situation. You want to move, but ah, if your foot's not stuck in the mud. If you're fluctuating between having a tendency to hesitate and running so fast that you're burning out, it's time to bring some balanced momentum into your propulsion. Consistent movement that feels right in your heart is the best place to start. Yeah, it's, it's again, it's like a push and pull. Whatever past situations or people that you kind of decided to create a separation from, it's like, that's what's been holding you back. And if you felt like you were stuck or you were slowing down or not, not much was happening, it was because of this energy here that was still connected to you. So the best decision was to choose yourself and then three of ones to eight of ones, you're on the right path. Now the momentum can carry you forth to your goal and your ideal place. Because you are in the process of manifesting something, Pisces. I don't know what specifically this is for you, 
all I know is that you start with an ace, which is a one, and you're ending with the ten of cups. So you are getting your manifestation. It is materializing for you. But there's a lot of important decisions that you've had to make that maybe you were dreading. It's like maybe you didn't want to make the decision, but not making a decision is also making a decision. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, whoever I'm channeling for, the two of cups in the reverse, you already made that decision to create that separation, to create that space, that distance between the things from the past that no longer serve you and are no longer aligned with who you're wanting to become and where you're headed. So it's like, for a lot of you, this already happened, okay? But do apply this to your situation. Do apply this to your timeline, okay? Holy Spirit, why, why is the Queen of Wands in the reverse for Pisces? Tell us a little bit more. Please clarify. Okay, Ace of Wands in the upright, and then Three of Cups in the reverse. I feel like this energy, the three of cups in the reverse, connects to six of cups. Pisces, what I'm feeling here is if you felt like, again, like stuck, like things weren't moving, or you were not getting what you wanted out of the situation, it has a lot to do with who you're connected to and who you're letting into your vibration, who you're letting into your vortex, who you're letting into your, into your inner circle. Because the three of cups and the six of cups is talking about people from your past. Friends, family members, soulmates, connections, partners, relationships, whatever it is, this is what this is what's created um, the stuck energy. This is what's created adversity in your life. And then the seven of wands in the reverse. I keep getting haters here, like undercover haters or frenemies. Okay, you know what I'm getting specifically why the, with the Queen of Wands being in the reverse and why the Queen of Wands is in the reverse is that whenever you were... Because the Queen of Wands in the Manifest card connect directly because both of these energies are master manifestors. It's like you're able to bring things into fruition very, very easily. But what I'm feeling here is as you are manifesting this life for yourself, as you are manifesting your way into the things that you wanted... There were some anchors here, and those anchors had to do with relationships and people around you. People that might have judged you a little bit too harshly, or that were attached to you, or connected to you in some kind of way. People that used to remind you who you used to be, or who, who used to project onto you. That's what was creating the adversities, that's what was creating the stuck energy in your life. It's like, I feel like on a subconscious level with the Two of Cups, you knew that. You already had that understanding. But it was just a matter of you making the decision to create the distance. Because Queen of Wands in the reverse is kind of hiding away your true magic, your true potential, and your ability to manifest. Because of the Three Cups in the reverse, some people that were around you that used to judge you. What I'm feeling here is kind of like an ultimatum. It's like choosing to keep those people around or choosing yourself. And you decided to choose yourself. That's why the two of cups is here. Again, three of cups in the reverse, two of cups in the reverse, six of cups, the seven of wands in the reverse. Some separations, some distance, some boundaries were much needed, Pisces. So don't allow anybody to guilt trip you or make you feel some type of way because this was a part of the journey. This was something that you had to do to get to where you wanted to be. This is one of the sacrifices. It's like you might have had it backwards, okay? You might have had it backwards as if you thought that you had to sacrifice for some people in your life to help them. But no, the reality is you had to sacrifice those relationships and those connections that were not leading you to where you wanted to go and prioritize yourself. That was a real test. Yeah, the, the energy just feels so underhanded, okay? It feels, like, it feels like people are projecting onto you things that you're not. To try and get you to stay, to try and get you to feel some type of way, okay? It's like telling you that you're leaving them behind um, or that you're being selfish. And again, with the seven of wands in the reverse and the six of cups, I'm, I kept hearing stuck up. Like some people have viewed you as stuck up, which again, is not true because you're being very selective. Because you're not willing to sacrifice yourself and place yourself in situations or in relationships that are not going to get you to where you want to be. It's like a lot of these people didn't appreciate you, did not value you, Pisces. And they just thought that you were going to be there. 
And now that you've made the, the decision to walk away, to leave, to create this distance, it's like you're surprised. One thing about Pisces is Pisces will walk away. Like, <laughs> Pisces is really good. Pisces has a very strong cutoff game. And some of these people might have not thought that about you. They might have not expected that from you. They might have thought that you were the one that, that was going to stick around, that was going to be there. But your cutoff game, your walk away game is very, very strong. Because the Ten of Wands is saying that you stayed there until you couldn't anymore, right? Like you tried, you gave everything you had to the situation and it was simply not going in the direction that you needed it to go. For your highest good, for their highest good. Like these were people that wanted to stay the same, but they wanted you to stay there with them. And then Ace of Wands, you chose a brand new beginning. You chose yourself. And again, for some of you, you might have cut some people off. For some of you, you might have walked away. For others of you, you might have separated or created some distance or boundaries because the two of cups in the reverse is separation so that you could choose yourself. And the lovers is saying that you made that decision. You prioritize yourself. And because of that, you're going to arrive to your outcome, to your desired outcome. You're on the right path. This is just one of the obstacles that you had to overcome. And it's like you passed the test, Pisces. You did pass the test. Kind of feels like spirit was testing you to see if you were going to stay there. Or if you, were, if you thought that these people could come with you, right? Because you can't decide for others. Seven of Cups. Whatever this decision was, was not an easy decision. It's like you kind of stayed there a little bit too long. That's what I'm getting from that message. You stayed there a little bit too long. Longer than you were supposed to. Holy Spirit, tell me more about the Seven of Cups. What do you want Pisces to know? Okay, the strength. Yeah, okay, exactly. I feel, okay, what I'm getting with this energy, Pisces, is that you knew all along what you had to do. It's like you knew all along what it was going to come down to. It's like your intuition, sometimes you're a little bit too smart for your own good because your intuition kind of shows you a preview of how things are going to go down. And maybe sometimes you're like, nah, I don't think so. Maybe we can make it work. Maybe this, maybe that. But the strength coming in with the Seven of Cups is you had to be strong enough to make this choice, this decision that you kind of already knew that you had to make. But maybe you were kind of just letting things kind of slide for a little bit because you thought that you could make something work. But the thing is, the more that you kept this door open, the more that you kind of kept one foot in, one foot out, it's like the more confusion, the more unfocused energy, the more brain fog it was creating because it was, it was no longer meant to stay. Like what I'm feeling here is a very clear before and after. Like there is an ending to the cycle because it's also a 10 and you're trying to step into this new version of yourself. So it was only creating delays. It was only creating stuck energy for you. And you really had to be strong to make that decision. So I'm wondering, Pisces, if, if this was like someone that you really cared about or people that you really cared about or things that you had already identified with, things that you thought that were going to go all the way with you. What I'm, fe what I'm feeling mainly here with the main lesson is that you had to really prioritize yourself. You had to really choose yourself no matter what. Like that was the test from spirit. Because you Pisces have a tendency to self-sacrifice for others. You are the sign of the undoing, the self-undoing. So it feels like a major test in your life to create the separation. Pisces, what I'm feeling also is like whatever season of your life you're coming to, because this is the middle right here. Okay, This is what you're leaving behind in the past, and this is what you're stepping into. This is what you're walking into. So what I'm getting here with the temperance and the two of cups in the reverse is that you're stepping into a season of your life where it's truly about being selfish because you need to be able to counterbalance your weaknesses. And one of your weaknesses is, be, is being um, self-sacrificing and it being the, the sign of the self undoing. So in order to counterbalance that, it's like you need to be you need to be selfish, at least in this season of your life, in this chapter of your life to get to where you want to be, because keeping the door open and staying attached to these people or these situations was literally not advancing you. Again, it's like you could have felt like things were taking longer than they should have. 
like some stuck energy that was difficult to move through and it was only because you were still connected to this chapter of your life that now there's a clear ending to that the ten of wands that chapter has ended that chapter has ended and you're stepping into something brand new and also what i'm getting with the seven of cups to the lovers is that some of you in the past few months or in the past few weeks it's like you you don't even recognize yourself like maybe you've been facing a lot of indecision when you are very decisive like you always know what you want you always know the end goal you know how you want to feel you know where you want to be in life it's like you tend to have a bigger picture of things that's why you don't worry so much that's why you're not so much in a rush because you see the bigger picture but it might have felt like you were a stranger to yourself because whatever the situation was that already expired was no longer applicable to your now moment and what I'm feeling here is that it created a lot of indecision. Like you were second guessing yourself, maybe doubting a little bit too much when you tend to be very decisive because you're the type of person to see the bigger picture and to know what aligns with that and what doesn't align with that. What goes and what can't go. But because you were still connected to these past energies and this past chapter, you were entertaining things a little bit longer than you should have. Like you were trying to find a way to make it all work. But divine is saying, no, it's not a time to be indecisive. It's a time to be decisive, which the lovers is making decisions. So yeah, it just, it feels like you're a stranger to yourself because you no longer recognize yourself because some of you might've lost yourself in these connections or in these environments or in these situations. Like it no longer applies to who you are in this now moment. Pisces, I feel like you've, you've undergone so many transformations and so many transitions that you don't know what to make out of the situation. A lot of your goals have already been achieved. A lot of your, um, yeah, a lot of your wishes, a lot of the things that you wanted, you already achieved. And it's like, you're kind of like in this in-between place where the shoe no longer fits, but you haven't found a new shoe. Like you haven't found, like you can't fit into the new shoe just yet. Like it's like this middle energy right here where the past no longer applies and you're about to step into the future, but you're somewhere here in the middle. It feels, okay, I'm going to be honest. It feels a little bit uncomfortable. Even if, as I speak, it feels like an uncomfortable energy. Like it's, it's not hot. It's not cold. It's not warm. It kind of just feels like it no longer fits. It no longer aligns. Like you don't feel like yourself. You might even feel a stranger to yourself. Holy Spirit, tell us more about the lovers. What do you want Pisces to know about the lovers? Okay, that's a lot of cards. I'm going to take those back. Okay, Holy Spirit, please clarify the lovers for Pisces. Okay, that's a lot of cards, but I'm going to take them. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups in the Reverse, the Devil, the World, and the Chariot, and the Magician. Wow, you have a lot of major arcanas, Pisces. Okay, so this is actually really, really clear. <laughs> Okay, so the Knight of Cups with the Devil. Okay, uh, <laughs> what I'm getting here is that you're going to have a lot of... You may have already experienced this, but you're going to have a little bit more of this until you fully close the cycle. Because that's part of the lovers. That's part of the decision that you have to make. And the world is confirming that you're going to find a way to close the cycle successfully in your life. But the Knight of Cups to the Devil is... You've had a lot of temptation in your life, Pisces, a lot of temptation and not just like, like temptation in all in on all levels, because the devil will try and pull you back in to who you used to be or what you used to be like. OK, the devil can also be bad habits, addictions, something that you kind of overdo, something that takes you into being um, into escaping, right, escaping your current reality, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be something like super hardcore but it could be bad habits it could be escapism it could be um past situations or relationships or a way of feeling that you may be addicted to to try and keep you in a in a certain kind of place and the world is saying that you finally have all the tools you you're like fed up with the situation that you're able to bring the cycle into a, a successful completion and that no longer is going to have a hold on you that no longer is going to stop you because what i'm getting here is that it's like you have everything you need to go right but it feels like you you press the gas and you press the brake start stop start stop like it feels like there's something there that has been pulling on your energy that has been trying to keep you stuck or creating obstacles that shouldn't even be there and what i'm getting here with the lovers is that you're finally making that decision to fully close the door to fully step into this new version of yourself and that's going to bring the conclusion to that cycle 
with the devil energy in the knight of cups in the reverse it's like a lot of tempting offers a lot of choices a lot of um ways to go about it but only one path is the right path only one path is going to lead you to where you want to go I'm getting a lot of like brain fog energy with the seven of cups. I don't know why I'm being drawn to this card. Some of you may not feel like fully present at this time. Like it's like you can be there, right? But it's like you don't feel like you're fully connected to the experience. You're not fully present with it. I'm just being drawn to this like cloudy, foggy energy. Yeah, some of you may feel like you're lacking clarity in your mind space. Like you know what you have to do but you're not fully connected, you're not fully present with it. Like your mind hasn't been feeling super sharp at this time because some of these energies have been, have been kind of like draining you. It's kind of like having multiple pages on your phone open. It's like you kind of just want to clear it all up. You want to delete everything you have to delete and kind of like close everything out that you're not, no longer using because it's been taking some of your energy and some of your focus as well. I'm just feeling like this very hazy kind of cloudy energy. It feels like brain fog, literally. It's like there's some kind of distance to, to what it is that you have to do. And how it is that you want to go about it. Like, like there's, there's an element of not being fully present. Something's been pulling on your energy, Pisces. I don't know if it's bad habits, people from the past, old, old environments. I don't know what it is, but the devil is here. So there's no denying this. Maybe even a little bit of like escaping, escaping your current circumstances, escaping your current reality and not even realizing it. It's kind of like checking out mentally, being physically present, but mentally checked out or emotionally checked out. Okay whatever, okay, whatever it is that you're about to do with the world, it's going to bring a clear ending to that energy. If you've been feeling, again, like stuck, foggy, a little bit undecisive, a little bit hesitant, like one foot in, one foot out, the world is here. It's like you finally learned the lesson, you finally passed the test, you completed a cycle, and the world is going to be that successful confirmation, that successful completion, where this energy is no longer going to have a hold on you. Because that's part of overcoming obstacles. You did overcome the obstacle. And spirit just wants to confirm and validate that you are on the right path. You made the, the right moves, okay? Whoever you had to cut off, whoever you had to walk away from, whoever you had to create a separation or distance from or create boundaries, that was the right choice because it was pulling on your energy in a negative way. You're really going to feel this, Pisces. When the world comes into full, um, into full circle, okay? It's like it's going to free up your energy, your mental space, and your focus to the chariot and the magician. You're going to have a lot of momentum and you're going to have a lot of speed towards your manifestation. Finally. It's like I feel like finally because seven of uh, pentacles here. You, you've been making the investments. You've been doing the work. But some way, somehow, like your energy felt like it was divided. Like it was some way, somehow connected to the past and the past was pulling on it. And it was also investing towards the future. But some way, somehow, it was like you were caught in the middle. Like there was some friction, there was some resistance right in the middle. And we have seven, seven, seven. Seven being the seven of pentacles, the chariot being number seven, the seven of cups, and the seven of wands. So four sevens, Pisces. If you're into numerology, I would strongly suggest looking into that angel number. It's like you're about to get lucky, but the thing is, it's not just luck. Like, you've been putting in the work, you've been doing what you have to do, but you just haven't been seeing the results. It's like something was in the way. There was some kind of obstacle that was connected to your past. And now that you're bringing the full, the full like, completion, the closure to the situation, it's, it's freeing up your energy. So that you could, you could use that energy towards your manifestation. Again, all three of these cards, the Queen of Wands to the Magician and the Manifest card, these are all the same energy. There's something that you're working on. There's something that you're manifesting. It's big, Pisces. And maybe you were wondering, like, how long is this going to take? Why isn't it not coming into full fruition? 
you know, it kind of felt like it was like stuck energy. Like it was just delayed. But the reason why is because this chapter was still open. And now with the world, it's it's officially closed. You're really going to feel this. It's going to it's gonna really like speed up. Because the chariot to the eight of wands just talks about momentum. Like things are finally speeding up. Like if there was a roadblock or some kind of obstacle in the, in the road, it's like that's getting removed. And you're going full throttle into this manifestation. Whatever this is for you, you are on the right path. Some of you may, may have even started doubting your manifestation abilities because you had so many obstacles on your path. And maybe it was just taking too long. Like you were putting in the energy, the work, the time, the effort, the elements. You were alchemizing the situation, but you were not seeing the, the things that you wanted to see. It just felt like you were just investing and investing and you just didn't know where you, when you were going to see the fruits of your labor. Some of you may have been at it for a long time now. Okay, like really, like it's taken a while, longer than it should have or longer than it usually takes. And so you started to doubt whether your manifestation abilities were, you know, working or whether your effort was going to give you the, the fruits of your labor. Whatever kind of self-doubt was coming in, Pisces, that's what's created this undecisive energy. And maybe this lack of clarity um, or this brain fog. But it has nothing to do with your manifestation abilities. It has nothing to do with you. It has to do with this chapter still being open in your life. That's what was creating the obstacles. It's like you figured it out, Pisces. Some way, somehow. Because you did overcome the obstacles, you are on the right path. Holy Spirit, any advice for Pisces when it comes to the magician? What do you want Pisces to know? Five of Wands in the reverse. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. Exactly, okay? This is okay, this is the energy right here. It's like this back and forth, like being pulled down by the past, okay, and then being taken further up to where you want to go. It's like the future is kind of trying to elevate you. It's trying to level you up and pull you upwards, whereas the past has been weighing you down. And it's created this separation, this divided energy. See? Two of cups in the reverse, separation. And then two of pentacles in the upright. Um, juggling two different choices, two different ways to go about things. Really, Pisces, like, if you've been doubting yourself or your abilities, it's nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with this past cycle uh, coming to an expiration. Like, it needs to be closed out completely and fully. Five of Wands in the reverse. So this Five of Wands is connected to these energies. Whatever environment that you just walked out of, okay, whether it's a relationship, family dynamics, partnerships, co-workers, the workplace, I don't know what this is, but this is multiple people uh, creating a toxic environment. It's like the environment was not fit for you and for your growth. So you have to really let this energy go. It's a very competitive, toxic energy. Um, this is also drama and chaos. It's like this was kind of um, dividing your energy and really pulling on your power, pulling on your energy and taking that from you into a place that is not going anywhere. This is what was pulling on you. It's connected to the past. So the magician in the upright, you have everything you need. Okay, you tend to make lemonade out of lemons, right? You tend to alchemize the situations to your advantage. But whatever this past situation or this past energy was, it was not letting you work your magic the way that you usually do. And it's like, that started to create soft doubt within you. Like, are you able to manifest? Like you were starting to second guess yourself. But the thing is, it had nothing to do with you. The wheel of fortune in the upright to the ace of swords. There's some kind of breakthrough, some kind of information coming to you now. And just learning this information, just knowing it, is going to create a wheel of fortune moment in your life. It's going to really shift things in your advantage. Again, major arcana, major arcana. If you felt like you had a streak of um, not so good luck, right? Or like something kind of taking you back over old lessons, something keeping you in the same place. 
It's like that's coming to an end. Things are finally going in your favor because Ace of Swords, whatever this information is, whatever kind of clarity is coming into you now, that's what you need to create the breakthrough, to get you out of the Seven of Cups. See, this is clarity. This is brain fog and unfocused energy. Pisces, you're going to see some things change like literally overnight. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Overnight, things are going to change just by you having this information, just by you closing out the cycle because this was the only obstacle on your path. It's so crazy because it feels like you didn't even realize it. You felt like this was your life, but this is a cycle that has already expired. And you find yourself like right here in the middle with the temperance about to step into this new cycle and realizing what's been keeping you stuck this juggling energy of the two of pentacles the past has been pulling you down and weighing you down whereas your future has been trying to level you up and it's just created this like juggling energy of divided energy should i stay should i go and not even fully realizing with the seven of cups here some kind of brain fog some kind of lack of focus trying to keep you in the same place a lot of open doors. Holy Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Ten of Cups? Any advice for Pisces when it comes to this Ten of Cups, Holy Spirit? Please clarify. Okay. We have the Page of Wands in the reverse. The Eight of Swords. The Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Okay, so the only obstacles that I'm seeing here, Pisces, Page of Wands in the reverse is kind of feeling the passion, feeling the creativity, feeling that like that impulsive, not, I don't want to say like impulsive as in reckless, but that impulsive side of you that's spontaneous, where it is that you know, you know what it is that you want and you have the opportunity and you just need to leap. You just need to take the action. That's it. That lack of action is caused by the Eight of Swords. Feeling like you're mentally entrapped, feeling like you're tied up, like you're blindfolded, like you need to have all the answers, you need to have all the information. Four of Pentacles, a fear of losing what you already have. And then Page of Swords, not wanting to step into the unknown, not wanting to be in a place of uncertainty. But the thing is, it's not going to be like it was in the past. It's like you already laid out the groundwork, you already laid out the foundation, the blueprint, and all you need now is to go for it, to take that leap of faith, to take that action, to learn the new skills, to learn the new things that you need to learn because Ten of Cups, you're coming into your emotional fulfillment. You're coming into your victory. And so the only thing that can hold you back is this energy of the Eight of Swords, which is self-imposed, by the way. You're on the right path. Wrong path is the right path to gain experience in your search for the right path. Lately, you have been questioning whether you're on the right path. If you have taken the right steps and if you're moving in the right direction, this card indicates that yes, all of your decisions and actions are leading you to your destiny. If it feels as if things don't look the way that they should or aren't happening at the, at the desired rate, rest assured that you are taking the necessary steps at the right pace. At times throughout our journey of life and manifestation, we get discouraged because of delays and setbacks, disappointments and failures. While these experiences may seem to hold us back, they're actually rerouting us like a helpful GPS. They are helping you find the best path to your desired destination. Although the world's navigation system may help you avoid accidents and get you somewhere faster, the spiritual navigation system will lead you directly to bumps, red lights, yellow lights, and then green lights to help you develop the necessary skills, expertise, and the growth for the journey ahead. Do not take temporary stop signs as eternal stop signs. They are softly rerouting you so that you are prepared with all the must, prepared with all the muster, fortitude, patience, and strength you will need. What it feels like, Pisces, is again, like whatever this is, is going to is gonna change. It's going to switch up overnight. Just by you closing out the cycle, just by you having this information, that's enough to create the breakthrough in the Wheel of Fortune. 
finally changing in your favor. Some of you, okay, what I'm getting here with this energy is that some of your beliefs, some of your, some of your core beliefs, some of your, kind of the, the way that you live life by, the things that have brought you up until this point, it's like a lot of that has expired already. Like you're wanting to completely switch it up and maybe even go back to simplicity, go back to the basics. Because some of the beliefs that you used to have are making you feel like you're bound or tied to something. Like your life is not under your own hands. Like your life is not under your own control. And it's like, there's this sense of you trying to just go back to simplicity and wanting to take that power and control over your own life instead of letting fate or destiny dictate your way. It's like, there's an element of empowerment here to where before there was a surrender energy to whereas now you wanna feel empowered and you want to feel like you're the one taking the action, you're the one leading the way and not reacting to the situation, not feeling like universe or divine is going to make the choices for you and all you have to do is align. It feels like you are carving out that path for yourself. You know what you want, you know what you need and how to fulfill that, but there is an element of having to surrender in the past and it's like that's not you anymore. That's not you anymore. It's like if you, if you had a very spiritual kind of perspective about life, there's something about grounding that back into simplicity. Reconnecting with the world, reconnecting with simplicity, reconnecting with the basics to get to where it is that you want to go. Some of you may, may have been overly spiritual in the past, okay, or overly materialistic. So just balance those out because the temperance talks about that moderation between the two. Either being too spiritual to your own detriment because you still have a physical body and a physical life or being too materialistic, right? But the temperance is bringing that back into balance and doing a little bit of both. It's like your philosophy, your beliefs, some way, somehow are being readjusted, okay? Or realigned with who, who you are at this time and what no longer applies to you. Holy Spirit, any final advice for Pisces in regards to this reading? Any final advice? What do you want Pisces to know at this time, Holy Spirit? Okay. We have the two of wands in the reverse and the king of pentacles in the upright. Yes, this is exactly what I was feeling. Okay, for a lot of you, what I'm getting here specifically is that you're getting kind of you're you're kind of reconnecting with the material life with the material world okay with the basics with simplicity with again like the process itself in the earthly realm like you're getting very very grounded at this time it's like you're leaving behind the aloofness you're leaving behind like not the spirituality within its sense okay like the spirituality has helped you get this far but there's, there's a need to reconnect to the physical world, to the material world, to create a balance in your life and to get to where you want to go, to get to where you want to be. So King of Pentacles, you are mastering that. And Two of Wands in the reverse, you are leaving behind the comfort zone and you're coming back down to the basics. You're coming back down to the process, the one, two, three, like the methodical process of how you got, how you got to do things to get to where you want to be in a very physical, tangible way, okay? not just like the philosophy the concepts the beliefs it's like this is more about the habits and the and the how not the what not the why but the how that's what you're reconnecting with and you're leaving behind the comfort zone whatever this comfort zone was it was attached to your past and it no longer serves you it's expired king of pentacles in the upright pisces you're straight up coming into mastery it feels like you already have this within yourself but there's a need to reconnect to the side of you to this version of yourself you're going to feel a lot of um, a lot of power and control over your life, a lot of grounding. You're coming back to simplicity, you're coming back to the basics, and that's going to bring a really good feeling of security and stability into your life. Where spirituality can be like very much up in the air, you know, with all these concepts, with all these philosophies, sometimes it contradicts itself. It's like you're trying to come back down to something grounded. I'm feeling a lot of root chakra energy coming in with the King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles coming in as your final advice card. This is a really good card, by the way. 
you're coming into a lot of abundance. It's like you're not just manifesting, you're materializing. Okay, there's a very clear distinction between manifesting energetically and materializing and bringing it down to the 3D reality. And that's the chapter that you're in now. Overflowing material abundance, patience and determination, a confident and warm leader providing for others, comfort and security, personal growth, goals reached, prosperity and success. Exuding warmth, the King of Pentacles welcomes you into his study for a heartfelt conversation about life. He's worked his fields, met his soulmate, and found wealth. And now he looks out over his shoulder um, to dreams manifested as he offers you the one as he offers you one of the tarot's most potent messages of forthcoming abundance and prosperity. The most important thing to be done is to enjoy it all, sweet seer. Enjoy every lesson, challenge, failure, and success. He reminds you to get clear on where you want to be and to plan and envision. There is manifesting power in the longing and so much joyful expansion as you bring your greatest potential into existence. Happiness happens when you do better than the last time. And in the pursuit of the personal growth, in the pursuit of personal growth, allow yourself the extravagance of desire. The rest is a consequence of faith. Steady habits and the courage to cultivate enormous dreams. Dream your biggest light into life. I dream my endless potential into existence with steady desire and effort. This is all I have for your reading, Pisces. Blessings. Take care.